just going hip hinge, wide stance, right? Floor, back. Once we start to get a little looser, we're gonna start to move a little more. Maybe bring your arms up this time. Good. Um, we're going to go into windmill. So, feet, clocks, singular clocks on each foot. 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock. This leg's going to stay straight. If we need to bend that back leg, we will. Right. But if we don't need to, we won't. Stare at that top hand. Keep that top hand and arm vertical. Push the hips back towards that back hip. One more and then we'll switch. Flip it. So now they're at one o'clock. This side's a little bit trickier for me. Balance and reach and open. So we're gonna do a little balance and reach, but when we get back, we're gonna open that hip up as much as we can. So look here, up, just the hip, not the rest of my body, come back, and back. Drive, just that hip. One more this way. Other side. Ooh, that guy don't like it. That guy don't like it. Mm. Enough of that. All right, so we're gonna do different foot position squats. So we're gonna do three squats, then we're gonna change the foot position. Normal stance, neutral stance here. Just do three squats. One, two, three. Now turn your feet out, three squats. One, two, three. Now turn your feet in, three squats. This side's, this one's gonna be a little bit difficult. Two, three. Now leave one foot neutral, turn the other foot out. One, two, three. Do the same thing on the other side. Three, leave one foot neutral, turn the other foot in. One, two, three, other side. One, two, three, good. Now, we're gonna do the same thing with our arms in a lunge. So lunge can be just a reverse lunge. We're gonna change our arm position. So I'm gonna go overhead. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna go through, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna go across, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna go same side, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna reach down and across, two, three. Now I reach up and across, two, Three. Now maybe one's gonna go down and another one's up. Two. Three. And we're done with that one. All right, now, butt kicks. Come in and out from work. So I can start this here if I don't feel warm yet. All right, if I do, I can pick it up. I was watching an exercise video on one of the pay sites. 
right? And they're doing jumping jacks. And it's really interesting how you leave stuff on the table unless you're told not to. All right, I'll show you on this break. All right, so jumping jacks. Okay. Instead of wah, wah. totally different. High knees, pull the knee higher than the hip. Knee higher than the hip, keep the torso upright. All right, control the speed of your knee. Why is it In our first round of exercises, we just need some intention. We don't need to go all out, we just need to go all good. Five seconds, four, three, two, good. And then we're gonna go into torso rotations. Make sure you're bringing that back foot with you, right, as you go side to side. All right, so boom. Toes go, toes go. And then as you go out, you're gonna notice this foot is not facing you guys. It's going with me a little bit as I reach. If you want a bigger stretch in the torso, bring that backside hand or that forward facing hand behind you as well. So, I'm gonna drink, and I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna do. So, we have four, uh, three sets of four exercises. All right. We're gonna go just two rounds of each, ex of each little set of four exercises. It's gonna be 45 seconds on, 10 second transition time uh, in between exercises. For our four exercises, we're actually not gonna get any sort of big break between the two rounds. It's just gonna go one, two, three, four, 10 seconds, one, two, three, four, 10 seconds. In between each exercise, 10 seconds, all right? So we're gonna do all eight sets before we move on to another, uh, before we do have a break and we move on to another group of four exercises. So our first exercises are, uh, hold on. Yeah, our first exercises are um, bird dog. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna alternate. Bird dog, actually, yeah, bird dog, lateral hop and chop. We're not gonna alternate, lateral hop and chop. Uh, crossing lunge to knee drive and a squat with an overhead drive. So I'll show them to you as we get going. Um, we've done them all before, right? So nothing, nothing is actually new. Um, we've done each one of these exercises before and we've done them well. I know you have. Uh, but we'll do one side of each thing uh, and then the next round we'll do the other side. So. All right, so first exercise, bird dog. I don't have my mat in here, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, that's gonna be fine. All right, so bird dog. We're here. Toes are on the ground. If you need some stability, they're off the ground if you want that really big extra challenge. I'm gonna extend my opposite arm and leg out at the same time, squeeze my glute and extend my arm, right? Out in front of me, keep that arm in line with my ear and then come back and try to drive the elbow to the knee. And I come back out, squeeze everything, 
Come back in. We're already going, so you're up. Abs tight, glutes tight at that extension. And then come try to drive in without really rounding the spine. So remember which leg is moving because we're going to move the opposite leg next time. to the left and chop down. All right, so I'm here, here, come back up. Now, come back up. As you come back up, make sure you're tall on that upside. You're kind of crouching on the low side, tall on the upside. Swing through, swing back. Good. All right, next one crossing lunge to a knee drive. So I'm just going to cross over to my left, just like we just did here. And then we'll come up. All right, ideas to bounce. Here, here, keep that vertical shin on that front leg side. Don't grab with the toes. squat overhead drive. So neutral position here, I'm going to drive down with my legs, up with my arms, same time. So boom, 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 and come back. The idea is to keep having that perfect squat position and try to extend your arms up and behind you. Okay. So not out in front, but up, over, and behind. Get those biceps in line with the ears without sticking your head forward. Good. Now we'll go the other way. All right, bird dog, opposite arm and leg move. Squeeze that glute. If you can't get your glute to squeeze, you might need to put your toes on the ground. All right. If you're doing this with your toes off the ground to give yourself a bigger challenge, but you're not squeezing that glute at this extension, you don't need a bigger challenge, right? You need to do it better. All right? You should be able to control and stop at any point in the movement, not just the beginning or the end. You should be able to stop right there and hold it. Right? Stop right there and hold it. Maybe there, maybe there. Maybe it's touching and holding. And back. Alright? It's not point A or point B. It's point A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, F, I, J, K, I, 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 Swing through. Stand tall. 
Swing through. Stand tall. Swing through. Last one. And then you got that crossing lunge to that same side. here, boom, drive up, back down, boom, I should be able to hang out, right, I shouldn't have to fight for this, right? I shouldn't drive here, boom, right, it's not that, it's this, here, 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 control the down, control the up. Now once you're controlling it, then on the way up, you can drive a little faster. But everything needs to be controlled. Uh, where are we at? All right, squat, overhead. All right, so the idea is not to go here, all right? So bring those arms as vertical as you can without really arching the back. <sighs> Trying to get the legs, the quads, and thighs parallel to the ground without sticking your head down, sticking it out. <sighs> without turning the feet out. So now we got a break, then we got three new exercises. Oh. All right, so we got a minute and a half. Sorry, four new exercises, that's my fault. We got an offset squat. We got a side plank with a hip drive. We got a 180 squat jump, and then we got a bear crawl. All right, so those are our next four. So, that offset squat, we can do a couple things here if we'd like. All right, so the idea is to have one foot in front of the other. So like this, not like this. Here I'm in line, here's what I'm looking for, right? Now, you can just squat here if you'd like. If you wanna up it, get into that same thing. You can jump here. Right, it's going to be a little bit different jump. You're going to have to, there's some demands there that aren't there in a regular squat jump. So up to you how to figure that out. Let's go left foot in front, right foot behind a little bit. All right. Maybe it's understanding the movement right now. Maybe in the last 20 seconds you want to have that jump. All right, you'll notice in this position, that back leg, that heel is going to come off the ground. Structurally, that's what's gonna happen, right? Unless you're pushing your hips back into that leg, that heel is gonna try to pull and pull, pull, right? I'm just gonna, little baby jumps for a bit. Side plank, hip drive. I'm gonna go on my right side. All this is is down, up with the hips. Elbow underneath the shoulder, feet stacked. Here we go. I'm just gonna tap, come back up. Hips forward, butt squeezed. So push my hips towards the camera, right? 
and squeeze my butt during that. Could use that mat right about now. Got five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. What we got next? 180 squat jump. So I'm gonna do my squat jump and turn. If I can't turn all the way around, I'm just gonna go here. If I can, let me go here. If it feels weird on my knees, I'm just gonna do my 90s. Good. All right, bear crawl, forward backwards. Opposite arm and leg move together. Forward, forward, back, back. Try to stay level. Pretend you're in a tunnel and there's a roof of the tunnel is right on top of you. So can you elevate in that tunnel? Sure can't. Because when you try, all that happens is the top of the tunnel stops you. Good. All right, now we're back to that offset jump. Right foot forward, and then I'll set squat. Now, that left heel should feel like it wants to come off the ground a bit. Side plank, left side on the ground. Here we go. Stack the toes, stack the feet. Elbow should be underneath that shoulder. If you need some assistance, you're just gonna put that hand that's floating, you don't know where to put it. Put it on the ground in front of you. He's gonna give you a little help to get up off the ground. Ten seconds. The last one. One eighty. Ninety or one eighty here. Ooh. I'm gonna do 90s. I wanna focus on my landings and getting off the ground. I, I don't wanna be landing, twisting. I wanna be landing, boom, here, straight down. Right, not down that way. Seconds. 
and bear crawl. That's this is about my sh bear crawl. Remember that tunnel. Part of it is where you're putting that knee when it goes under your body. If you're putting that knee into your armpit, you can't stay stable, right? You can't stay one level. If it goes right underneath your hip and you plant that foot, then you'll be in a good position to stay level. All right. So, we got one more break and then we're done. Sorry, one more break, four exercises, and then we're done. So our last, hold on, I want to play a little beautiful paper. Interesting. All right, so. Dun, 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 dun. So here we go with our last four. It's a shuffle to press. All right, so idea is to pretend you have a dumbbell in your hand. All right, what you're gonna do is squat, shuffle overhead like this, all right? Boom, boom. So I'm going to the right, all right? The next round, I'll go to the left. All right, next one, chance for snatch. I'm gonna start on the left side. I'm gonna pretend I've got a broomstick, a foam roller, a viper, or whatever in my hands. So my hands are gonna be far apart. Here, boom, I'm gonna switch the legs, pull that up over my head. All right, next one is dead bug, and then down dog, knee to opposite uh, leg, elbow. Here we go, shuffle first. Boom, shoo, down, squat, stand. Squat, stand. Squat down, stand. If you can touch your hand on the ground through your squat, cool. If you can't and you have to bend over to do it, don't touch your hand. snatch, wide stance, or wide grip, left leg forward first, we're going to do our little baby lunge jump to get the hands overhead, come back, boom, pop, here, pop, here, step back, reset it, reset it, Time for one more. Set back. Dead bug on the ground. All right. How are we going to do it? Bent leg, straight leg, opposite arm and leg, trying to lower to the ground at the same time. 
This one we're alternating. So, we got the opportunity here or here, squeezing this quad. So I get that whole arm and that whole leg on the ground. Next one, down dog. So we're going down dog, knee to the opposite elbow. So I'm here, I'm gonna take my right knee, put it to my left elbow. Keep going on that same side. Ten seconds. Good. You can beat it. And we go back to the beginning. Left hand, left side. Shuffle. Here we go. Ten seconds. Squat to get level. Don't bend over. One more. All right, here's a snatch. Right side forward. Here we go. Boom. Get that back leg to bend here. All right, so you're almost getting into that reverse lunge on that back side. One more. Dead bug. Flatten, flatten the limbs, flatten the limbs onto the ground. Get that arm to go straight back. Put the bicep right next to the ear and not out away from you. All right, should go straight back. Not over here, straight back. Last one. Yeah. All right, down dog. Reset everything. So think of going slower here than faster. All right, so I'm here. I'm gonna extend my leg behind me without turning my foot out, boom. Then I'm gonna drive in, touch, come back, reset it. If you speed through it, you're not gonna get that benefit of that calf stretch right there. 
or the benefit of control, right? And all the adaptations your body's gonna go through because you're asking it to control movement. That's it, kids. That's it. All right. Short, quick, effective, and we're done. All right. A lot of these exercises will be insanely effective if you pay attention to how you do the exercise. Then. Acknowledging when it's a how that, whoa, I got a lot of work to do. Instead of ignoring that, no problem, son, no problem, son. Good to see you. Instead of ignoring the fact that, oh, if I do it the right way, it's difficult. If I do it the right way, it's difficult. So I'm gonna ignore that and try to do it my way. When you do that, when you say, oh, this is super difficult, I'm gonna do it my way because I can do more of them. Right? Your way, if, if you're thinking about that, <laughs> if you're thinking about it that way, like you're gonna do it your way, there's probably a reason that's your way. Right? We're all, as humans, we're all versed to harder work. We're all versed to more difficult work. We're trying to find the easiest route possible to whatever it is that we're looking for. Right? That's why the diet industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. So if you look at it that way, that's why the fitness industry is the same thing, right? People are like, abs in seven minutes a day, that's it, right? Well, no, that ain't it. That's just feeding off of the insecurities of people and the, pe the idea that people want things to be easy. Oh, seven minutes, I can do seven minutes. Approach this with the fact that you are going to work hard, right? And how I benefit is working hard. All right? That's all I got. Stretch on your own. See you tomorrow. No, I won't see you tomorrow. Rebecca will see you tomorrow. Lies is right. Lies is right. All right. All right, kids.